Edith LeBert here backstage with Liam Gittins, who got the win via a rear naked choke with only 17 seconds left of the, of the second round. Liam, I can tell this one meant a lot to you. It did. It was, it was a huge win to get it here tonight. And um, after such a hard first round, and uh, I definitely knew I'd lost that first. Um, took a lot of big shots, and I was going to second my arms with gas. So I just gave everything I could, and it was a very emotional win for me, and I'm just glad mm -hmm. I took it here tonight. Only two rounds, but it seems like you both left everything in it there. Felt, what, was, yeah. what was going through your head as like you were trying to rounds, finish it? Um, we're going through my head. So, 30 sec I heard the 30 second clapper, and my team were just like, just go for it, go for it. And I'd like, first time I'd got a good opportunity to finish the fight. Like, I'd hurt him a bit to the body, but I had his back, and I was going for this, had my hooks in. So, as soon as they started screaming, there's 30 seconds left, I was just like all over trying to just get this choke in, really. Uh, so, yeah. It's good. I also wanted to say congratulations on becoming a dad. Thank you. Many people say that it's very different to start fighting once you have a child. Is, yeah. What was your experience like? Uh, it was, well, my, um, my girlfriend, Tegan, sent me a picture or a video of mm -hmm. her watching the TV of the, of the prelims and that. She doesn't know what it is, obviously, but she was, she yeah. was there watching me fight. So it's, um, that, was, that was nice to know when I got in there. And, you know, it's different when you're a dad because, you know, you can... Um, I think you can push a bit harder knowing that, like, you know, I've got a kid here, I've got to like mm -hmm. show them that in the future when they're older and go, look, your dad did this. So, yeah. <laughs> you, you lost your last fight after a controversial stoppage yes. um, against Brian Boulin. Is that a, a, a fight you would like to have a rematch soon or do you feel you guys are going to meet up I'd, later down I'd the road? I'd run that back all day. Like anytime, if, if Brian wanted to, I'd, I'd run that fight back because I was confident I was going to come mm -hmm. out with a win on that. You know, you saw me talk a lot of big shots here tonight and, you know, you never know how it's going to go, but even if like, we got back in. I think that's a fan favorite, favorite fight, personally. Like, you know, mm -hmm. he's done it with me with big shots. I'm going to keep coming forward and, you know, it's going to be a good one. So I'd love to have that fight. And you had started that fight in a way I feel we hadn't seen before with so much speed and just being rampant. Yeah. And yeah. looking back, do you, have, do you have any regrets? Is there any, like, takeaways from that no, fight? No, no regrets. Um, the takeaways, I'd say, is, like, um, that me and my team can come up with a game plan. I can follow it and I, I believe in it. And, you know, it works. I felt like that was a really good performance for me. The only thing I would say is I should have threw more body shots to him when he was tucking high. And, but, you know, there's always improvements, but I was, I was quite happy with the performance, not with the result, but, yeah. you know. You say you win or you learn, right? Yeah, but I, <laughs> even if I was to run it back, I'd yeah. probably do the same. The same? I'd, yeah. I and a lot of people were dead happy with the way I went out with that. Like, they were, yeah. oh my God, I, I was watching that fight. It was so cool. So, it's, yeah. that was nice. Yeah. yeah. And speaking of Brian Boulay, I know your teammate Nathan Fletcher is going to be fighting him tomorrow. Yes. What are your takes on that fight? I think Nathan's probably going to come away with a, another submission somewhere, I reckon. If I was to guess, second round, but, um, you know, it was the third for his last fight. But I reckon mm -hmm. he'll keep his 100% uh, submission. Probably a highlight real rate. submission again. Yeah, him. I reckon so. Yeah, Nathan, Nathan's well. a great lad. He's, mm -hmm. he's really good. And I reckon he'll probably get a win over, over Buland and get one step closer to that title. All right. Well, thank you. Perfect. Thank Enjoy you. Your win. I will do. Thank you.